Listen, I was trying to be funny. People are bent out of shape because I think I'm mocking uh, or have some issue with women plumbers. I don't. I, I guess, uh, I don't know. Like, it doesn't matter what you say on this stupid thing. Somebody's going to be mad about it. So, uh, I don't have a problem with women in the trades. I do have a problem with us uh, collectively deciding that that's the only thing that matters. Uh, you know, it's it's not it's not the same thing, but it's close to the fact that you know we focus on like three percent of the population as sort of a resonating voice. That those are the people that we need to focus on. It's not. We need more people in the trades. We need quality, a quantity. Because that's what the government's going to do. Oh, here's like 20,000 new tradesmen. Ah, that can't make a straight line. Uh, which will cause more problems than they solve. And if you don't think that's what's going to happen, you don't think that's what they're going to do. Like the, It's a wonderful time to be a tradesman. Because it's a 20-year problem that the government's going to try and fix. It's been a problem since I started. And I uh, started my technical plumbing career in like 1988. <laughs> a long time ago. Anyway, it's not an easily solved problem. And like I've told my boys uh, and anybody that asks, uh, the trades are going to be a, a wonderful place to earn a living for the next 20 years. You know, there's that fear of AI. AI is not going to replace what service plumbers do anyway. There will be some manufacturing robots that, you know, try and... I don't even know how they could, you know... I mean, I guess they could. Manufacture homes. That's what they try and do. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> I'm not hating on the ladies. I I do think... And every there isn't a single person on here that doesn't know what I'm talking about. Where you got, you know, some very attractive young lady showing, you know, everything but the private bits uh, to get you to buy her subscription to see the private bits. <laughs> and I, I, I mean, I don't understand. I see all of the influencers out there have their subscription packages. What do they actually offer? Somebody tell me, is there actually somebody on this thing that actually subscribes to... to a, a plumbing influencer or a trade influencer and gets exclusive content that they don't just pump out anyway? Uh, I mean, I, I realize that Instagram's trying to make it, you know, you can monetize your profile, but that seems bananas to me. It really does. And you know what happens when, what happens when you get shut down? a genuine concern of mine. Where does the money go? Does it keep coming in or does it go somewhere else or does it all get cancelled? Who the hell knows? That's, you know, that's part of the issue I have with this, the digital ID stuff. You know, I get a hard time because people have, um, you know, over the course of a couple of months, the, my follower count went crazy. Um, and the only thing I can equate it to, which happened in Baker 2.0, is I finally figured out how to link my business Facebook page to my Instagram page. And I did that within about a month or so, my business Facebook page went crazy, and so did the Instagram page. Like, it just, subscribers came in like crazy. And when Baker 2.0 got canceled, because it's digital, you actually can't actually talk to anybody, it took like three months for me to link 3.0 to my Facebook page. When I would do it, it would say you can't because you already have a you already have 2.0 link to it. I'm like, no, I don't. It's deactivated. But of course, it ain't smart enough to figure that out. And so that's the issue that I see with digital anything is that you can't actually talk to somebody to fix your problem. Imagine, you know, your car goes down or your gas gets shut off or even if you know. It's just a glitch. Like, who do you talk to? We all have horror stories of just
just, you know, waiting on hold endlessly, nothing's getting done. Like that is only gonna magnify like 10 times if they actually follow through on this whole digital crap, which they're talking about doing. Uh, and, and that's where AI will go. <laughs> and you'll have to plead your say, place to some robot. And it, you know, the fact that my uh, page wasn't linked to each other didn't affect my life by any stretch of the imagination. I will say that when it finally, when the software finally figured out that 2.0 was dead and let me link my 3.0, again, I, almost within two or three weeks, uh, you know, it went viral and my follower count went crazy again. And then it falls off again, you know. How many of those are real? I don't know. Like I, how many of your followers are real? I don't know if I have any way of finding that out. Maybe 30%? You know, there's, there's so many uh, bots on there. I get, you know, every day I have to clean my request folder of uh, anywhere from six to a dozen uh, group invites that are all just naked women. <laughs> Follow, join this group to see naked women. I'm like, ah, I, I promise you I'll be fine. So it's an interesting, I guess that's where the disconnect of everything is, is the politicians say, we're going to do this. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't work now. How are you going to make it work, you know, in the future? Oh, don't worry. We'll figure that out. No, you won't. You'll implement it half-assed and it'll be a disaster. Like many things that, uh, you know, the government is currently doing. Speaking of government, I might as well just hit them all. I only got three minutes left. I know I was ragging on the old um, American politics, but my current prime minister is in Jamaica uh, on a free vacation. Some donor, which has remained anonymous, he's staying in that donor's uh, villa at the tune of $9,000 a night. Took two of the corporate jets down to Jamaica. Not one, two. Because of uh, climate change. Anyway, and if you don't know this, the maximum that a donor can contribute without revealing who they are is $500. So he's down there for, I don't know how long, we'll say five days. And, you know, so he's down there at you know $45,000 vacation, paid for by somebody else that the taxpayers don't get to know. And what kind of favors is JT passing on to that dude for his uh, luxury vacation? Ugh. Bob, don't be crazy. Why do you have to do that? You know, maybe it's all above board. It's never above board if you have to keep it all secret. Which is my whole problem with this, with this platform, with the world in general, is that everything is fake. And the second you're real, uh, you hurt everybody's feelings because everybody, because you have to placate to the mob, not even the mob. Like it's not the mob anymore. It's just the angry minority of people that, you know, scream and shout and, and are dissatisfied unless they, uh, are validated by perfect strangers. It's a weird, it's a weird, uh, world. I, uh, you know, I, Turbo and I have had endless discussions about this, but I do think we've sort of reached the crescendo of, of the wokeness, whatever that means. Um, and I do think we're going to, the pendulum is going to swing the other way. And then all those people that were super happy that it was super far left will be super mad when it hits center, <laughs> which is now considered far right. I don't know, it's a bananas world out there. Um, uh, that's just, like I say, some ramblings as I go from the one job to the next. And hope you're all well. Enjoy the weekend. Have a lovely Friday. Look after your family and friends. Those are my thoughts, not yours. Be brave now. And yet, what, you know, I should become like a politician. How many slogans and mottos can I fit into a 20-second clip? A lot. <laughs> and to the haters, you can suck it. Suck it. That's it. Have a lovely day.